Hey everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to Dove Ventures. Now, before we get into this video, as you know, we've got a van meet on Sunday, May the 8th at Goit Valley. Now, the postcode is going to be in the description and if you are going to come to this van meet, the postcode is going to bring you to a sailing club. Now, the sailing club, as you actually drive to it, there's going to be this car park and you'll see it because it's, um, as it brings you in on this road here and as you come towards the sailing club, you'll drive past this car park this is the car park that we're going to be having the van meet on. Now if this car park's full, there's going to be another car park just a little bit further down on the right hand side and that's going to be a car park as well that we're going to have the Dove Ventures van meet on. So this is the car park that we're having the meet on. Look at that. Beautiful views for the van meet. And then like I said, if that car park is getting busy, there is actually another car park here that will be out of the van meet. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet you guys there. So I'll see you there. Right, today's video. Do you recognize this camper van? Now, if you are new to the channel, we used to have a Volkswagen Transporter that looked a little bit like this. Do you know what? This isn't our old one. This is actually some of our friends, John and Carol, who, if you've been a long time viewer, you will have seen them on the channel when we seen you in Scotland yeah, and then Scotland. we ended up spending some time together at the ferry pools. How yeah. amazing was that? Oh, brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We're actually going to be going to Scotland in June and we're in the process of organising, meeting up with these guys because yeah, some exciting stuff coming with these guys. Who was looking for? And let's not forget, Dexter. <laughs> Thor's best mate. Yo, yeah! You got on with Thor, didn't you? You're gonna see him again, you are! You're gonna see him again! Now, I've actually come and met John and Carol because we've not seen them since last year in Scotland because obviously you guys live in Leicester, don't you? So, yeah. Yeah. so they've come down to Goit Valley and, you know, I thought we'll come and meet up with them. And what I'm going to do while we're here is, because we've not had a transporter on the channel for a while, and I know you guys love your transporters, we're going to do a bit of a van tour of their van. He's thinking, what? That's news to me. <laughs> bit of tidy it. Hey, the get the pop top up, we'll get a full tour. It's easy, isn't it? So, some of you might actually remember John from when we went to the ferry pools in Scotland because you had a leaking bag, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. With, with, with your Somebody forgot bottle. to put the top Put the lid and back on your bottle. bottles, but. So, yeah, let's have a quick look. Go, go in. Go in. Got the. So, he's got all these sink. full gear, he's got the sink. Oh yeah, and just these pull that back and Is that a TV? TV, same as yours. Ah, right, okay. Is that one there? Fridge. Oh, in there. Yes. Now we might have a lot more space in our van because we've now got a Volkswagen Crafter. But we don't have anywhere to store anything, so we've got things just lying about at the moment. But we're still waiting, we're still waiting to get everything done. It's set. Oh, guys, it's so beautiful here. It's amazing. And John just told me he's actually got the, what's it called? What three words? Yeah. What three words? So I'm going to put that in this video and I'm going to put it in the description so you can get the exact location of where the van meet's going to be next week. He's just fitted a new accessory. Boys and their toys. No, I can't blame you. <laughs> Let's show them. We have to show them what you've got. Just put a LED light on the wind out awning all the way along there with a little remote. Switch it on and off. Has it got disco lights as well so that when you're no, out there no, you can no. start raving? You can, di you can dim it up and down. Right. And then the box. Crowd it onto the carpet so you can get it on and off easy. Have you actually used it with the awning off at night time? Yeah, yeah. Does it, does it look so quite it's good? not really bright. Is it? Yeah. So uh, something to think about. This transporter is actually a 60th, 60th anniversary edition. 
Great, and what's so, the sort so of like... it was 60 years that they've been building the transporters, obviously right. from when they had the split split screens. Right. To obviously 2015 when this van was built. Mm. And because of that, does that mean that it's come with the alloys and everything, or have they been like added on as extra? They they were added on with Volkswagen because it was right. a it was a, um, a demonstration model. Right. So it was like a top of the range model. We got the diesel heater vent just over there, and it's the Airbus battery heater you've yeah. got, haven't you? Got all the There's gadgets the you've got over here. One of the reasons that I like looking at other people's vans as well, even though I have seen this van before, is he's just told me that that box there is a smoke alarm, and it's actually, as you said, a proper, proper camper van camper smoke van. alarm. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah, I've like we've got a smoke alarm, but it's just like the big yeah, round one that we put in the van. Yeah, so it's not as not as noisy as right. the ones that you'd have in your home. So it's it's a little bit quieter. So you know what? I'm gonna have a look and see if I can actually get a proper one of them because I didn't know there was such a thing. Just been telling me that these um, awnings. Can't actually get they're, they're available, but they're very difficult to get. Putting like the side pieces on and things, but you've actually made some, haven't you? Yeah. Right, I'm impressed. Oh, hand stitch. That was hand stitch. Kiss face. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> right, let's get them out. You've made these, so. Nah. I've got I've got some like bungee. You know the ball bungees. Mm. And basically, it's. Then that actually pegs down. So yeah, so when so, so when you've actually got the awning out. Yeah. So I've got that for the front, and then we've got another two that attach to the sides. So then you've got that entrance. So you go in. So. <laughs> you know when you made this, <laughs> was it like an easy process and you did yeah. it and it was fine and. Yeah. I just can't do things like this. And Brooke's gonna be like, why can't you do things like that? Because that's, that, that's amazing. I suppose you could use that as a bit of a mosquito net as well if you wanted to, if you wanted to let some air in and that. These are the bungees, you see. So you just... Just put that through there. And then that's where you can peg it down. You can peg it down to the floor. John and his uh, handy DIY skills. <laughs> Something that I just simply don't have. Genuine excitement now, guys. Genuine excitement. He's going to. Sh he just said to me because he knows we're getting an RIB bed for hours. He just said to me, "Have you ever like seen an RIB bed? How it works and everything?" Do you know what? I've seen them in like other vans and that, but I've not really like looked at them because it's you know it's just it's an RIB bed, like a rock and roll bed and things. But now that we're actually going to be getting one, I'm excited because we're going to have a look at the one in here. Basically, there's a little handle there. Just pull that over. Next. So we've got, we've got all that storage as well. Oh, uh, you see now, this is what, the, on the research I've been doing, I know that you get the storage because we're actually going to be putting our toilet light yeah. underneath, which is what you've done there, so. Yeah, far back. And there's another, there's another door at the back that you can get at. That's where they, see the RIB, the rib bed? Yep. And then what you do, you just leave it there. And there's your bed. There's my glasses. Have you been looking for them? Oh, forever. <laughs> and then we, we just pull the bed straight down. So yeah. mold up. But you're not on the, you know, like with the rock and roll beds, you're actually on the, the contours mm. and, um, and obviously the seat belts. Mm. Unless you, you don't, and it's a different foam on this side. It's right. like a memory phone that we put on. Right. And you've never had any issues with no. this bed or anything? And no. No, it's brilliant. And I know that the back bit, obviously you've got all that there, so I won't be able to show it, but like this back bit extends up and down so you can lean on it? Is yeah, that what, what you can do. We've, we've stayed near oh, like beaches and stuff, and you can put this back up and get that as a chaise long and open it and just go and... <laughs> Look at her laughing, dude. Like, I've got my face just went. I've never thought of that. That is brilliant. Yeah, so you can be looking at the sea. You just sat there. 
This guy, man, he's full of so <laughs> many ideas. So he's just been saying before he had his TV. I mean, it's so simple, but it's, it's a good idea. That what he did was, obviously, when they're asleep, they're going to be lying here. He's actually attached a phone case up there so he could put his phone in. And when they lay down... And a little drink holder. You could actually like, watch um, some TV and things. And then a drink holder there. The simple things, you know, these tips, you know, I know there's going to be someone that's going to be like, because I've just went, what an amazing idea that is, so you can put your phone there. Did you glue it on or no, you screwed it in? No, double saw tape. Double sided tape. Double saw tape, so if you want to take it down, it's easy to clean the glue on. This guy, man. <laughs> so as he was showing me that, I was just said to him, so what's actually this? This is a box as well. This is something that we did not have in our other camper van, like storage and things, and it's just... There's another little storage there. We put all our toiletries in there. And that's all, that's all the cups and everything else we're gonna all set up when we're not on the road. And then that's the wardrobe. That one. And we know that we've got t-shirts all in those ones. And then we'll have obviously we'll know the all all the tops in there. Mm. St. Carol's is red, mine's black. So we've got like a shelf each. <laughs> yeah. Shelf each. Yes, yeah, so you know, yeah. Yeah. Do you know so what? I have to say your van is well organized because obviously when we seen you in Scotland, we didn't really look around your van or anything. Yeah. But having a look around it now, you, you, every single bit of space is well utilised and usefully everything. And it all packs away really neat. You would yeah. never know that all oh, this was in your That's van. It. Yeah. We've got a 25 litre drum that we keep there for water. And then we've got a 10 litre one under the sink and another 10 litre one in the other bunk. A couple of two litre bottles of water is what we <laughs> yeah. take with us. Yeah. No. Just when you're in Scotland, you just mm. never know. Where you yeah. get do you know what it's so exciting to see like what you can actually do with van because we never with our old van we never had all these storage things and when we was like looking to do more things with the van we was going to get a u-shaped conversion and then like build all these different things into it but seeing one that's fully converted and actually spending time and looking at all the different things properly it's just it's so surprising how many things you can actually fit in it more storage <laughs> under the seat just got like tools and things <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? So in a previous video, Brooke actually asked you guys uh, if anyone's actually got a Kadak and you know a lot of you've been saying that it is something that you should get. And look who's got one. There it is. There it is. Now the thing is, you've got one. Would you recommend one? Yes. Do you actually use it a lot yes, or all the time? Right. When, we were, when we were out camping because you can use it as an outside cooker right you can actually use the use this as a saucepan as well right There's a, you can buy a lid to go with that as well right and then everything just all folds up i'm assuming when you buy one of these it comes in the bag yeah, you get everything apart right. from the lid that's right. the only thing the lid's are extra and the gas you'd have to actually go and yeah, buy, the gas. buy the gas bottle right so you can either you can either have it with a portable gas bottle okay or you can have it for the the big gas bottles so how much would one of them gas bottles one cost of these and gas how much? bottles about 35 quid to have them filled right a uh, bit will last you a long time so brooke looks like we're getting a kadak so guys that's a, a tour of john and carol and dexter's camper van and do you know what seeing how you've arranged your van and everything just makes us like so excited and like seeing the rib bed and everything so back to the camper van meet so john has got it up so the on what three words what i'll do i'll put links in the description and things so that you actually know where it is now if you don't have what three words do put the postcode in and like i said it brings you in on this road that's just behind us here and you'll see it it's a car park on the left hand side as you come in you'll see it so look forward to seeing you all there 
Unfortunately, these guys can't come no, because no. they're busy. Real good to see you guys, so do hit that subscribe button. Can't wait to meet you all next week, so until the next one, bye for now.